going on YouTube welcome back to the channel I hope you guys are having a fantastic day and thank you guys for tuning in today today we are going to wrap up the LB7 a few of the emissions things we got to fix I got some diagrams got some troubleshooting stuff to do and we are gonna go get that all situated so you can get rid of it or do whatever he pleases um, it's about a 30 minute drive from here so not a big deal but first going to grab coffee and uh, we got the dog with us today again. So she's working with me today. I don't have to go to work or anything. So hopefully get this truck wrapped up. Uh, check engine light did not come back on the the red Duramax. So we are taking that today, get everything unhooked and ready to go. So yeah, I feel like I've been rambling a lot in the last few videos. So uh, we're just gonna get into it. Good Lord, it looks like a giant pair of grapes. Alrighty guys, we have made it to the LB7 Duramax. So we're gonna go over, like I uh, remember I was talking about that pin that was recessed right in here. So we're gonna actually glue that pin in a little bit to make it stick out. Just put a little dab of super glue on it. And uh, I'm gonna go over all of the um, all of the secondary injection lines and all the vacuum lines and everything, which are all right up here, kind of lead up here to the wastegate and area and EGR valve and all that stuff. But I'm gonna just check all over, over all of that stuff. Everything seems to be good on it. Other than we're just having that barometric sensor, which it could be that pin on the, the plug. So we wanna get that fixed to kind of eliminate that option. I brought my code reader, so we're gonna check everything over and just see if we can get this thing running stout. Alrighty guys, I will openly admit that this uh, this was my mistake, but as you can see, the truck is running no check engine light. It actually comes down that um, all the, the vacuum lines for the for all the, the secondary emissions bullshit on this. Swap two of the vacuum lines. So uh, the way I installed one of the vacuum lines, it was uh, it had like a white mark painted on it, and I didn't uh, I didn't see it because it was upside down. So we swapped them. Everything seems to be rolling good now, and we're gonna take it for a test drive right now, and hopefully the truck is good to go. So we took the truck for a test drive, and everything checked out perfectly. Uh, it smokes a little bit, but like we said, the pilot injection was kind of high. You can see we're still sitting here. I'm just wrapping this video up. Um, so that all happened after this little shit ran away. Um, she got off her collar and took off, so I had to go on like a mile run to catch her. Um, she's running across roads and stuff, so pretty sketchy. Um, I got her a harness though, <laughs> so she doesn't do that again. But anyways, like I said, um, on the Cali Emissions LB7, there is a, um, there's a bunch of vacuum lines and a vacuum pump on it to to run all the EGR, all that mumbo jumbo. And I, I didn't, I don't know much about them. And I'll be honest, I really don't. So I, I was looking through everything. And we kept getting a barometric sensor fail. And there's an atmospheric barometric sensor and there's a vacuum barometric sensor on the the passenger side on the the fuel filter housing. So I was looking at the line. So I followed the line up from it, tried swapping it nothing changed so I followed the lines down to the other two lines the only other two lines I knew I took off and I swapped it and when I swapped them I happened to see the white paint marking what line goes where and uh, that was kind of a dead giveaway and everything is good no more check engine light no more issues so make sure you guys pay attention to, to vacuum lines if you have a Cali emissions LB7 so that's gonna do it guys that kind of wraps up everything for today not a crazy long video not anything special but we got it wrapped up in about a couple hours uh, we re um, reconnected that oil pressure line that remember I was saying it had no oil pressure so everything is solid and we are golden so I'm really glad that it turned out great the trucks running phenomenal so Rebuilt the motor, a motor that people were saying it wasn't ever going to run again, and uh, they were trying to, trying to, 
you know, get the guy to replace the motor and we, we were able to rebuild it and it runs. So 180,000 mile truck and it's, Siri's doing some weird things. Um, 180,000 mile motor and it's ready to go. So thank you guys as always. If you're new to the channel, please, uh, please subscribe, drop a thumbs up on these videos and let me know what you guys want to see. Uh, we got some work to do. And like I said, I'm getting more into the vlog style now that this truck's done. So we'll be back to more constant videos and a little bit uh, more constant uploads and probably doing some more fun stuff. So make sure you guys stay tuned. Turn on that little bell for post notifications and I'll see you next time. Take it easy, guys.